You need a financial advisor with the freedom to focus on your specific needs. Whatever your goals, Reed Potter can create a game plan tailored to you. Call Reed at 432-0777 at Pikeville, Kentucky to learn more. Mountain Engineering Day, or Mountain E-Day for short, was held for the first time Saturday to engage youth in engineering activities for potential career paths. The biggest thing is the different types of engineering that are available right here in their hometown. What we hear a lot of is brain drain that our kids, if they want to be an engineer, they go away to school and then they don't come home because they don't always see that engineering is right here around them every day. So our goal was to try to not only encourage them to do what they love, but also to do what they love in the place that they love and to come home and, and celebrate with us. With activities spread across three locations, kids and young adults could explore the Appalachian Wireless Arena, U-Pike, and downtown's BitSource to try out their skill. So we want to expose them as much as we can to low tech as well as high tech. Uh, here today we brought everything from squishy circuits to where they learn how uh, circuitry works uh, all the way to some of our uh, robots that they can actually learn to code. Those robots... Uh, and those are, Yeah, those robots yeah. are on different levels. We have puzzle coding for the younger kids mm -hmm. all the way up to block coding and Python coding for the older kids. Well, we start out with very simple hand tools because we want to te teach root engineering uh, skills. But then they go all the way up to you know advanced computer technology. This is a wireless remote control vehicle. Uh, we do drones. We do uh, wireless robots that involve programming, and and th things like that. As part of the three location event, BitSource held a Q&A with Kentucky native and NASA engineer Dr. Tracy Prater, who spoke about the life and challenges of being an engineer. Aria Ferguson, a NASA enthusiast, hopes to be an astrophysicist when she grows up. Um, so I've always been obsessed with space and I first wanted to be an astronaut but then I wanted to stay on land so then I found out about astrophysicists and stuff so I wanted to be one. And while kids were eager to learn more about engineering, Director of Digital Literacy Tracy Tackett says she's happy adults see the value in engineering. I'm thrilled that parents see the value of an educational event. This isn't just a carnival. It is um, fun, hands-on learning, and something that kids can, can leave today thinking, oh, engineering is fun, and it's something that they might want to think more about. For Mountaintop News, I'm Joel Cordial.